Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi. We are going to look at our database programming, so it's our add tables. This is the final of 2019 question 2.2 and you want to try that on your own first before you watch this video. For grade 12s it will be in your final exam, but grade 11s you can also do this as revision, as more or less in term 3 you will be taught add tables. So we are looking at the November final exam of 2019 and I hope that you guys did this before you're watching the memo because else there's really no point. So I am actually, I know it says page one at the back, at the top here, but I'm actually at the last two pages of your question paper. And these are the pages that you need to tear out when you start your exam. So what this is showing us is the design of the database and the tables, the field names, uh, these are the names that it would be in the access table itself. So this you will need for SQL. And this here is the data types and then just a description to tell you what they are. So if it says a unique team name, that means it's the primary key. That's why PK is there as well. Then what they would give you in this case, there's four records, just some of the records to show you what the data looks like in these teams. So there you can see the team names and that it's under under 14 and there's a space there with an A, which is very important. And then just the layout of the coach names and the numbers that you could find in the fields number of games played and won. This here is showing us the layout of TBL players and all the field names. It will also have a primary key. This time it's an auto number and then some text fields. Uh, note that ID numbers, cell phone numbers are always stored as text. And here you can see each player will have a team name allocated to them. And team name now appears in both of our tables. So that's going to be how the tables are linked to each other. But there is a screenshot showing us that as well. And then just the skill level, which in this case is a number from 1 to 10. And take note of that 1 is a low skill and 10 is a high skill. And then we have a goalkeeper field, which is Boolean or yes, no. And if the person is a goalkeeper, the value will be true, else the value will be false. And here's the example of records in your table TBL players. And also take note of the note here. They say that the connection code has been provided. You will never be required to link a database to your Delphi program in an exam. And very important, the database is password protected, so don't try and spend time opening it. You are going to have to tear out these pages and use them as a reference. And then finally, they indicate the relationship to you. For those who have been watching me for a while, I refer to this table here where the one sits as the parent table, as one parent can have many children. This is my child table. The field team name is the foreign key. So the foreign key sits in the child table. That's where the many sits and is linked to the primary key of the parent table. And there we have the primary key indicated as player ID in TBL players as well. So now I am on question 2.2. 2.1 was SQL and this is the tab sheet 2.2. So you need to go to that tab sheet and do all these questions in these buttons provided. Take note that no marks will be awarded for SQL statements in this section of the code. So now we are in button 2.2.1 and if you haven't done so already, I want you to press pause and first try this question yourself before you have a look at the answers. I'm not going to read the whole question to you, but the aim of this question is to save junior players that made the under 18A team to a text file. Now in order to understand what this junior players mean, you have to actually read this top part as well. And you'll see that junior players are players that were born after the year 2002. 
And also remember that in your ID number, the first two digits indicate in which year you were born in. And then you're going to display this in, the, in a label. And there's also an example of your text file. Here's the example of output for your label. Just before we start, I'd like you to take note of the top of this program and see that they have declared TBL teams and TBL players there as addo table components. And these are what you will use to code with. So here is the solution for question 2.2.1. We want to write these junior players to a text file called junior18a. Remember the .txt there? And it does not yet exist, so we're going to rewrite it. We're going to create it, and we're using T file that we declared there as a text file. Then we initialize I count because I want to count these players. And remember, when we're using ink, we have to initialize that variable, and that's what I'm doing here. It can be a local variable because I'm only using this variable inside of this procedure. Then I start with TBL players, my dot first while not end of table, my if statement, and my dot next. Remember your while has a begin and end. It's a good idea to actually add a comment there just to say this is the end of my while, this is the end of my if. And inside of my while, I'm now looking for learners who are in the team under 18A, but where the date of birth is after 2002. There are many ways to accomplish this part of the code. I used my copy function to say copy out the ID number from the first character for two characters. So I'm copying out the first two numbers. I'm then changing it from a string to an integer so that I can then compare it with a two. So this means everyone who was born after 2002. And this part here is reading the team name. Now, the team name sits in both tables. But the reason I'm using TBL players is because the ID number sits in players as well. So in this way, I'm finding the younger players, the junior players, who are in the under 18 AT. Make sure you have that space there, else it won't find it either. And when I find one, I increase the counter. I'm finding more than one player in this team. So I'm not going to make my loop stop here with a Boolean value. I am going to let it go all the way to the end so I can find all those learners. And then I have my right line. You guys often forget the T file here with right line. And then I was supposed to write the surname and a comma and then the uh, player's name to this text file. And that's what I'm doing with this line of code. Very important is that your dot next is outside of this if, but still inside of the begin and end. And the very important close file. Your program will work 100% without the close file, but you will not score the marks for this close file because there are usually a mark allocate for the close file. If you also had to read from this text file again at a later point in your program, it won't work unless you have a close file here. Also, be very careful not to put this close, close file inside of a, your loop here where you're writing to the file because then you'll get an error as well. And then finally, we're displaying in the caption our counter. And remember to add your labels in final exams. You can't just leave them empty. There are easy marks allocated in exam papers. And these would be your easy marks. Without them, you're not going to score those marks. So here is question 2.2.2 and this one was interesting because we had to display the coach names as well as the goalkeepers names and these were sitting in two different tables. And apart from just displaying some of our fields, you had to read this top part as well to say that the coach and goalkeepers, so you had to find the goalkeepers. Remember we had a Boolean field to indicate whether a record of a team member is a goalkeeper or not. So read and try this question and press pause before you watch the memo that comes next. It's important when you do these question papers that you look at the provided code 
they provided you with the tab stops as well as the heading so you don't need to do that and don't code here they indicate to you where to place your code so do it after this line that is given and we're going to loop through first tbl teams so we start with dot first we have the while not end of the table and the dot next there there the orange begin and end belongs to tbl teams and we want to display values from both tables so that's why i have tbl first here inside of TBL team. So now for each time that I go to a team, I'm going to loop through TBL players. And then there is my while not end of the table. And there is my dot next still inside of the green while loop, which is for TBL players. And in my if statement here, this condition is looking for that link. The two tables were linked through the field called team name. And here I'm testing if the current player is a goalkeeper. And if both of these conditions are true, I then display the team name. And this could have been from either TBL players or TBL teams because they are containing the same value. That's the field through which they are linked. A tab and then the name of the coach that sits in TBL teams. And then the player's surname and name. And these sit inside of TBL players. There it says player name. Also take note of formatting. So you would see that there is a comma between the surname as, and the name. And then I have my dot next. And then I move on to the next team. So this is the end of question 2.2. This year they didn't ask us to do an insert, edit or a delete. But in other papers they have done a asked us to do so. So make sure you cover those as well. Thank you for watching Dandelion Dolphy Tutorials and I hope to see you soon.